What is up guys, this is Tito back with another video on the Poco A5 and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest Infinity X ROM and this ROM I have been daily driving for more than a week now. This is the version 3.3 .3 of Infinity X and the build date here is of 20th October 2025. I will explain all the good things and bad things that I have experienced in this ROM. So do stay tuned till the end of the video. And if you don't know how to flash this ROM and how to back up before clean flashing a ROM, all the videos and the guides will be listed in the description box below. So do check it out beforehand. But first of all, let me just quickly show you the about section. This is how it looks like. We have the Project NDX logo and it shows the wallpaper that you're using. It shows version 3.3 and it has the specs mentioned over here. If you keep tapping on this Android 16's logo, you'll get the Android 16's Easter egg just like this. And on the bottom, you will find the security patch based on the latest October 1st, 2025 security patch. The build date you can notice it's 19th October 2025 from this kernel version. And the build maintainer is Pablo Escobar Sharmaji Reed. And huge thanks to the developer of this ROM. Well, first things first, right after you flash this ROM, the one of the most important or more, one of the most amazing feature of this ROM is right out of the box without even rooting or without even flashing any kernel receive stuff you will get the banking apps working and that's just insane. Right out of the box, you will see all these three things, basic integrity device and the strong integrity, everything just straight up passes right out of the box. You don't need to do anything. You don't need to select any key box or anything. It just passes right out of the box. This is like really one of the most amazing features of this ROM. One thing in this ROM that might surprise you in ROMs like Evolution X, I've seen Google Pay was simply not working, even though all other banking apps or UPI apps was working. But here, even Google Pay is working. Let me show you. So it asked me, I have already set this up. That's why it's asking me for the fingerprint. If I just select that, yeah, Google Pay right here is working fine. And by the way, this is the first time I have seen Google Pay working on an Android 16 ROM. That to write out of the box. I did not need to actually root or anything. I did not need to give any separate permission or anything right out of the box. Google Pay here is working fine after setting it up. And that says a lot about this ROM, I would say. So if you're someone who was willing to actually use Google Pay on a Android 16 ROM, that I can totally then recommend you this Infinity X latest build for your Poco A5 or any other device. Now that was a good thing, but let me talk about one bad thing about this ROM that I have experienced. I actually restore all my apps and stuff from the Google Cloud backup. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you can check out the backing up video that I have made from the description. Now, because I actually restore all the backups, all the apps and stuff actually gets restored from here. But after I restored all the apps, except for the Google apps like Google Chrome, Google Play Store, except for all those, all the other apps like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter and stuff, I tried to log in, I opened it but I couldn't simply log in because it was showing an error. Then I figured out that I have to tap and hold on each app every time I open it beforehand and I had to go to the app info. Then from here, go into this mobile data. And from here, I had to manually enable all these allow network access kind of option. It used to stay disabled like this for all the third party apps. This was really one of the most annoying part after flashing this ROM because I had to enable all these things. Maybe because I restored all my Google app data backup. That's why it happened. Not really sure. This is what I have faced personally. Now that depending on your preference could also be a good thing because you can just disable network access for apps like MX Player. Even if you don't have MX Player Premium, it won't show you ads. So if I'm playing a video with MX Player and if I just pause it, as you can see the ad section, it just shows this cross mark part, it doesn't load the ad and it shows this kind of earth logo once it cannot connect to internet in a particular app. So this is one thing to note that this network disabling kind of feature can also be a good thing if you just hate in-app ads. Except for that, every other thing is one of the like top notch kind of experiences overall. Like overall in the launcher, I haven't faced any issues except for once I have seen like all the apps and stuff on the home screen wasn't showing up just the bottom part actually used to show up. I have faced that once. I had to reboot the device once and then it got fixed. Otherwise, let me show you in the home screen settings. This one has the Infinity X kind of launcher. And on this launcher, yes, there is a lot of feature. You can lock particular apps. There is freeform mode if you want to have this pop-up kind of window of any app, like on a YouTube video or anything. So you have that. But let me just go into the home screen settings. Yes, there are icon customization. Yes, there are home screen customization where there is double tap to sleep anywhere in the home screen and lock screen both and a huge, huge amount of feature you will find over here. And in the app drawer too, you can customize. Then we have the recents. I'm not showing you all of those because it might take a lot of time. But yeah, in the recents, this is how it looks like. We have the screenshot, the clear all, and there is the RAM usage kind of option. If you enable this memory info 
and if you go into the miscellaneous settings yes there is also that hidden and protected apps and the best part about this launcher is that there is double tap to sleep anywhere in the home screen and you can wake the device up with just tapping the finger scanner and the always on display here just works super fine as well as you can see let's notice that animation yeah single tap also is working i would say yeah that animation looks superb and unlocking it again looks beautiful and with the power button as well just notice that animation all these things are still there and our 16 clocks are working great with the like always on display here and the quick setting bella it's super smooth no need to worry that it might be stuttering or something it's not it's very smooth experience overall in the quick setting panel and everything you can edit the toggles as well and there are huge huge amount of toggles that you can choose from but one thing i have to say here that flashlight as you can see it turns on but you cannot really adjust the brightness like you can do on roms like evolution x so yeah you get the idea you can tap it or turn it on or turn off but yeah the brightness adjustment for the flashlight isn't there let me show you the settings panel this is how it looks like is all over the ui the settings looks beautiful it has this top notch colors of the like settings in each section and it looks beautiful in the system settings let me show you there are gesture settings quick tap or the back tap actions are there and there are a lot of things that you can choose from for the quick tap and we have the double press on the power button to launch camera yes it works fine as you can see and here we have the one-handed mode as well which i have selected to actually show notification but you can also do this to pull, pull the screen to the bottom then we have two double tap to check phone as well then lift to check phone is also there and press and hold power button action is there and we have the prevent ringing option as well here's the navigation kind of things are there in the customization section i'll show you that later there is usb integration you can set it to file transfer for convenience and we have a system updater now in the system updater there is this new kind of look earlier it used to look like that lineage based kind of look but here right now we have the infinity x logo so that's nice and in terms of the normal settings let me show you the display settings and stuff yes all these things are there there is per app refresh rate as well you can choose to 60 120 there is no 90 option per app but on the refresh rate section there is 60 90 and 120 and you can have adaptive refresh rate i have been using it with the 90 hertz most of the time because with 120 hertz i have seen the device actually runs a little bit hotter than it should that i have actually experienced maybe because my battery has a lot of charging cycles might be the reason there is wallpaper and styles and these are the android 16 kind of lock screen clock styles as you can see play throb styles are there you can choose and use whichever you would like to there is home screen settings as well and in the change wallpaper section this is the stock wallpaper that you will get for this infinity x rom let me go back and we have these color contrast app grid you can choose up to six by seven that's a lot we also have the icon packs and huge amount of option are there and even the font styles you can change from right here yes there is the nothing dot style and stuff no need to worry about them huge huge amount of font styles are there 100 plus and we have the shapes as well for the icons in the app section you just scroll down we have the cloned apps we have the app lock yes app lock and stuff it's totally working i'll show you in the notifications yes there is conversations there is flash notifications as well in case you want to enable that you totally can and we also have the other notification customization that you are noticing in the sound and vibration we have all of these kind of settings huge huge amount of option and even there is the clear speaker option then there is the dolby atmos as well and i have been using the realme buds air 7 with this and right when i open the case yes it shows up everything like the case's battery the earphones battery everything just shows up straight up in the android settings looks beautiful i would say now in the battery settings this is how it looks like and we have all these kind of things and we have the battery information right here for the cycle count of my battery you can actually see it has gone through about 1058 plus charging cycles that's a lot and for my device the maximum capacity of the battery actually shows up as 78 percent for now and we have the battery temperature right now at 35 degrees celsius but let me tell you overall the battery life that i have been getting it's good it's not bad at all yes there is thermal profiles as well so you can set it per app but i'll show you the estimated battery life that i have tested with the aku battery app and here it shows about eight hours of screen on time you can see and we have the screen off as about 40 hours even the combine shows up more than 13 hours or even 14 hours you can see so overall i am not disappointed with the battery life while doing even normal things like whatsapp video call and stuff the device might get hot a lot like it reaches about 40 degree plus i'll show you some screenshots and stuff and in the health section for me the battery health shows up as 88 percent these are again estimated calculations of the aku battery app 
By the way, this ROM definitely comes with the uh, Pixel XL's unlimited photos and videos backup at no extra charge, so that's really nice. The IR blaster and everything is working fine here. Let's talk about security settings and in here we have the device unlock and in the settings of it we have all these things. Yes, there is face unlock and fingerprint both but I have been only using it with a fingerprint option and in here we have touch your unlock anytime. Now for the app lock, this is how it shows while you open lock tap and if you just tap the fingerprint scanner with a registered fingerprint, it unlocks the particular app and goes wherever you left it. So that's nice. Again, double tap to sleep on the blank area of the home screen works fine. Tapping on the fingerprint scanner, it just like unlocks super fast no issues whatsoever and even waking up the device as you can see works great but it wakes up into the lock screen not in a ambient display but i like the overall look of the home screen with this like oxygen kind of clock and stuff you can say and one thing is that there is these separate kind of phone dialer and stuff and even the messaging app is there i guess so you can use those but i am personally used to with the google's dialer that's why i have been using the google dialer and that works fine even there is bcr so you can do the call recording and stuff and if you want this kind of battery widget which shows the battery percentage and temperature separately i'll list it below in the description if you want this battery widget kind of app because in this rom the android's battery widget it's just not there Yes, there is dev check and there is this battery widget but the stock android's battery widget isn't there now let's talk about the stock camera well we have the like a kind of camera you can say and there is 0.66 ultra wide angle lens 1x 2x all these options and with the front camera and everything as you can see it works fine even with the portrait mode it works great and i'll show you some samples over here but with the video you can do up to 1080 and 60 ps videos with the front camera and if you go rear camera you can shoot up to 4k and 30 fps there is no 4k 60 over here with the stock camera you can install a gcam if you would like to i'll list some videos about that and we have enhanced kind of photos and we have pro mode videos as well you can shoot up to again 4k 30 and if you just swipe up you will get more options like panorama short film slow motion time lapse AI watermark all these things so you do get the idea the overall quality of this like taking a photo it's very fast no problems whatsoever now let's just do one thing let's clear everything from memory I'll just open one by one apps and so that I can show you how it works. Let's open Chrome and it's still in memory it looks like. YouTube, yes it's still in memory and Twitter or X and Play Store, then Google Home, then this noise speed app maybe and let's open some other apps like this Play Integrity Checker this RGB LED remote control app, dev check and did I open Twitter? Yes. Let's open Instagram as well. And right now I'll open all the apps from memory and just notice, yes, it should show about 90 FPS because I have selected that but you can also go 120 FPS and it should work. And yes, as you can see switching between apps, it's not a problem. It switches between the apps totally fine and all the apps and stuff are still in memory let me show you yes let's open youtube and yes it's still in memory so as you can see all the apps are still in memory so the memory management here it's not a problem at all by the way this is the base variant of the device that i have it's not the like 12 gb ram variant or anything but overall the memory management it's super good and here are the android and geekbench score and other benchmarks that i have tested on this specific build so that you can get an idea about the overall ui performance but if you ask me personally like switching between apps with this particular launcher yes it's fine but i personally feel i felt a little bit better on like roms like evolution x this might be my personal preference or personal taste you can say but yeah it works fine don't get me wrong as you can see it switches perfectly fine if you want a lot of customizations this infinity x is gonna be for you and overall in the look and style and the feel of the settings it just looks super premium and we have the infinity suit right here we have the monitor colors and by the way the volume panel looks like this it has the volume percentage and stuff you can expand the volume panel change the output device from right here also the power menu looks like this of course you can change the look of it if you'd like to there is monitor settings yes it gets stuck for one moment while you go into the monitor settings even in roms like evolution x so that's not a problem we have the vibrant expressive spritz all these things for the theme style color source you can change the luminance chroma factor whole palette in background all these things lock screen style you can actually change and there are the android 13 kind of lock screen clock styles you can say and for these as well you have 100 plus options if you want to use those you totally can 
and we have the screen of animation as well then the charging animation carrier name on lock screen charging stats pulse visualizer and we have the weather kind of settings i'll just try to show you all of these really quickly yes there is the setting style as well you can totally choose that and by the way for my setting style you can actually take a screenshot of this i have selected this to solid background and stuff all these things and this is set to round there is wallpaper styles as well like wallpaper blur and we have the wallpaper blur style as well and wallpaper dim stuff is there and we have the font style you can also choose that from here as well and then icon packs again are there just notice the amount of options even the icon shapes as well huge huge amount of options for everything even the signal icon styles are there you can customize that also there are the wi-fi icon styles pretty much huge huge amount of options i can't show you even the end of this yes right now it did go to the last one but yeah it's a huge huge amount of option everywhere and if you just click over here it will open the wallpapers and styles and in the quick setting panel customization yes there is data usage there is bluetooth style dialog there is pure black on quick setting panel and if you scroll down we have a lot more things like the battery style and stuff you can customize just notice the amount of battery styles which are there and the brightness headers shape and stuff you can customize then we have the position and we have the haptic feedback quick setting tile shape and the other things quick setting panel on lock screen i have disabled that privacy reasons you can totally do customize it however you would like to so this part tuner is there the styles of the icons and we have the clock and date kind of customization background chip then the battery style again is there and the amount of options are huge and we have just a huge huge amount of option for the status bar style you can say always on display customization is there and just notice the amount of option yes there is button customization and just notice the amount of option again and long press power button toggle torch in call vibration all these things are there then we have the power menu customization obviously there is advanced restart and stuff then we have the notifications as well and just notice the amount of options let me go back the navigation mode is there yes from here you can go into the settings and from here you can actually take a look at the taskbar option is there and pill length and radius you can customize that's amazing because these options are not there in roms like evolution x you can see and we have the other options like back gesture animation and swipe to access google app age long swipe actions you can actually customize that as well and there is circle to search by the way let me show you that if i open apps like twitter and if i just do circle to search yes that actually works fine let me try one more time as you can see it works great also if i just tap and hold over here and click on this translate text all the text and stuff will be translated to the language that i prefer so yeah this is nice and also let me show you one thing if i just swipe up from the corners it opens Gemini and it listens whatever I say. So you get the idea, it has a lot of things. We have the sidebar feature and you can enable it part app as well. Three fingers swipe gesture, you can actually customize that to multiple things like take screenshot, all these things. In the miscellaneous settings, yes, there is a separate spoofing section where you can <laughs> spoof the Google Apps. I've left all the spoofing mostly on default settings. The spoof Google Apps option is there. Tensor features and the play integrity stuff. And there is update play integrity fix. If sometimes your backing app stops working, you can just click on the update play integrity fix while your like internet is on. It will just update that over the internet. We have the pip JSON file selection option and the select XML for keybox. We have the unlock high pace in games and unlimited Google photo storage. Then we have the full screen app, smart pixels, hide developer status, hide app list, adaptive playback and ignore window secure flags, no storage restriction. And we have the unlimited screen records, show clipboard overlay and the pocket detection as well. So yeah, that was pretty much it about the latest InfiniX version 3.3 based on Android 16 guys. And I have been totally enjoying this ROM a lot. And this is really one of the best experiences of Android 16 with a lot of customizations that you might find a lot more handy while daily driving it. Let me know in the comments what do you guys think. Yes, definitely working Google Pay is a pro and working double tap to sleep anywhere in the home screen. It's a really good thing. And right out of the box, all the banking apps and stuff are working fine here. That's really one more really good thing. Has the MIUI camera and everything. So yeah, overall, I would say this is really one of the best ROMs out there for the Poco A5 even while offering a lot of customizations all through the UI. So let me know in the comments what do you guys think about this particular ROM. And I'm really proud to have this ROM in our community and all the apps and stuff still stays in memory. So yeah, I would say this is really one of the best experiences of Android 16 pretty much. So that pretty much wraps up this video. Thank you so much for watching this video guys. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. Do share this video with your friends if you found this video helpful. This is Tito from KD Index signing off for today and I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye now.